Meche. Manny, what are you doing here? I wanted to see how your trip was going, Angel. I am your travel agent, you know. By the way, thanks for that bottle of champagne you sent me. It really hit the spot. You were headed for a trap. I was trying to warn you. Domino was using me like bait. I didn't want you to end up a prisoner here like me. Prisoner? Where's your cell? Or are you just sharing a bunk with the warden? If that's what you think of me, then why did you come here? Because this is where he belongs. Here, working for me. I knew you'd come around eventually. Right or wrong, Manuel Calavera is always with the winning team, right, Manny? That's why you're here now. I'm getting off this rock, and I'm taking all of these people with me. <laughs> Manny, there's no way off this island. I'm afraid you're stuck here in my little executive training program. See, I need you to take my place here, kid. I've got to get back to the city where the action is. Sorry, Manny, but I had to come in. My skin was getting all pruney. Him, I don't need. I'm gonna grind you to powder for that cow, on. Maybe later. But for now, let me just show you your new office. <laughs> Careful, BB. The new boss is waking up. Hola, Angelitos. I'll bite you, I swear to God. Please don't bite anyone else, Pugsy. That's why they put us in the cage in the first place. My name is Manny Calavera. What's yours? Mr. Harley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. Poor Meche. I didn't trick anybody. Mr. Hurley said he was supposed to take care of Meche, but you stole her case from him. Is that true? Let me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, I had this job, selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I was in a slump, and I really needed a fat commission, so... You're a bad man. Go away, bad man! Yeah, go away! Mitch is my friend. You can ask her. She talked about you before. Every time she says your name, she looks so sad. I don't know what you did to her, but you're gonna be sorry! What are you two doing in this cage? Making light bulbs. Look, we're working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? Listen, children, I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your hands are too big to make light bulbs. I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchie. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. My hands are not too big to make light bulbs. Then why don't you help? I'm in the Maritime Union. We can't do factory work. I don't know what those words mean. It means he doesn't want to help us because he's mean. My butt's too big to sit on one of those little perches. Um, I'm gonna tell Mecha you said that word to us. I told you he was bad. I just don't have any of those little tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. <laughs> Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. You're two bad little children. I'm glad you're in a cage. <laughs> Very bad. Bite me and I'll sue your parents. Our, Our parents? parents? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, don't cry, children. Please, stop crying. Why am I so bad at this? <laughs> I'm the one who's gonna take Mitchie out of here. What? You can't do that. Who's gonna take care of us? We'll be all alone. <laughs> You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchie. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. 
nice cage you have here. Mr. Hurley grew demon ravens with human heads in here. He said if we ever tried to get away, he'd send the ravens after us. And let them make nests out of our bones. You children just wait here and be brave little angelitos, okay? Okay. It's my Prince Charming. Are you back here just to insult me some more, or do you just want some ice for your head? Come on, we're getting out of here. Trying to steal my commission from Domino again. Manny, don't you ever give up? I'm not after any commission. I just want to get us both out of here. Then why don't you just ask your boss for the day off? Can't believe you think he's my boss. He's my arch enemy. I think he's your boss. You think he's my boyfriend. We don't seem to have a good foundation of trust in our relationship, do we? I'm sorry I implied he was your boyfriend. I do trust you. Well, I'm not sure I trust you about that. But I'll tell you one thing that would convince me. Name it. Give me your gun. What? What makes you think I have a gun? You work for the most heavily armed organization in the land of the dead. Don't try to tell me they didn't issue you a gun. I don't work for the most heavily armed organization anywhere. You know, you're right. There are those rumors of that revolutionary army that's been stockpiling weapons. Actually, them, I work for. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. I think we need to talk. Start talking. You're the salesman. I have a lot of explaining to do. Save your breath. Domino's explained it all to me already. You have a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> me? About what? Why did you take me out with that champagne bottle? I told you to stop you from falling into Domino's trap. If you had made it on that ship, then you would have ended up... Here? Yes. Why are you working for Domino? I do what he asks only to protect the children. Why are those children locked up in a cage? With the wings those angelitos have, they're the only things on this island Domino can't control. Hey, if they can fly, let's set the kids free to go get help. They can't fly that far, Manny. But they can fly circles around Domino, and they can bite pretty hard. <laughs> so why did you run out of my office? I felt so embarrassed, and you looked so disappointed in me. I couldn't stand it anymore. Then what were you doing that whole year I was in Ubakawa? I was lost. What did you... I don't want to talk about that year, please. Has Domino hurt you in any way? Not as much as I've hurt him. Boy, can that guy take a punch. Okay, I'll lay off the questions. Great. Now if we could get you to just lay off the cologne. Hey, I'm a sailor now. We have to wear this stuff. I'm gonna go see about getting us a boat. Ooh, remember to get a fast one so we can water ski, all right? Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. I'm gonna go see about get- Ooh, remember to get a fast one so we can water ski. on this cruel island. Good enough for me. What is? Oh, uh, the, um, the speed at which you're working. That's nice, Manny, but you're not my boss, so really I couldn't care less. Good. Excellent. Carry on. Sir, do you have an appointment? I'm going in there to tell Domino my demands. I don't think you fully understand the chain of command around here. Pugsy and Bibi work for you. You and I work for Domino, who works for Hector Le Mans, crime boss of El Maro. Well, I think it's time for a little corporate restructuring.
Domino. Domino! Taking your first coffee break already, Calavera? We got a score to settle, Issy. You know, if I ever spoke to my boss, Hector, that way... You killed my best friend. The demon? Manny, you can use a demon as a driver. Let him carry your messages, let him serve you food. But you can't ever start thinking of them as friends. It's just not natural. What are you doing out here on the edge of the world? Oh, I know. I ask myself that every day. But I'm going to train you, Manny, to take my place here running this two-bit light bulb factory. How can you keep little children in a cage? Trust me, it's easier than keeping big kids in a cage. Why don't you just sprout me like you tried a Puerto Zapato? That wasn't me. That was Hector. He's so unimaginative, just wants to tie up the loose ends, you know? But I believe, however, that you can be rehabilitated through honest work. What makes you think I'm gonna work for you? Well, there's not much to do on this island if you don't work, take it for me. And think about it, once I'm gone, it will be just you and Meche alone on this deserted island. Don't tell me that prospect doesn't appeal to you. I don't plan to be on this island for very long. Manny, I have all the guns, I have all the transportation, and I have all the brains. What are you gonna do? You and Hector set up a secret hideout to make light bulbs? Oh no, that's just a side benefit. The real purpose is to have a place we can lock up all those old clients of mine. Can't have good people wandering loose in the land of the dead telling everybody how we stole their double-end tickets, now can we? You stole all these people's tickets? Okay, how much of this haven't you figured out, Calavera? Kapal would root all the good clients to me after he switched over their tickets to a secret holding fund. I'd cover up the paper trail, and we'd make sure that the pigeon jumped overboard at the Pearl. I knew it! You were getting all the good clients. I handled them all, except for Mercedes, who you hijacked for me in that ridiculous hot rod, which I saw, by the way, last time I was in Rubicava. I tell you, Manny, hot rods like that just don't look safe to me. So it wasn't my fault Mecha didn't get a ticket. You stole it. Well, it's your fault she ended up in the forest instead of coming here right away, but I fixed that. I'm taking Mecha out of this dungeon. Manny. Before I found her, she spent a year out there in the petrified forest alone because of you. By comparison, I'd say I'm keeping her pretty comfortable here in my uh, dungeon, wouldn't you say? One ticket for you, one for Hector. How many more do you need? Oh, Manny. We never touch the product ourselves. We sell a ticket to unfortunate souls, unable to lead moral lives because of the crippling amount of cash they were born into. But you could just take the tickets and leave today. We found a way to make the land of the dead livable. Why would we want to leave? Nice island you got here. Yeah, the previous owners didn't know what they had here. Let us pick it up for a song. They scooped out all the coral they could reach with their crane and then abandoned the plant. But we knew we had what it would take to go the extra distance to the big reef. Are you about to lecture me about the winning attitude again? No! Slave labor, Manny. That's the real ticket to success. Well, I gotta get back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. Please put that... that. <laughs> okay, you can take out the tiny hammer if you want.